My guest today has nailed roles on Broadway like June in Gypsy opposite Bernadette Peters and Glinda the Good in Wicked. These days she's wrapped tight in a corset enjoying the phenomenal success of Something Rotten. What's up, Kate Rinders? Hi, what's up, Paul? You brought booze. Of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, is that your thing? You're known for that? Uh, well, I, I um, no. No, I am known for being very responsible well, I and always it. completely sober. Well, um, we, we are toasting the success of Something Rotten. Yes, sure, we Let's are. Do that. And we are also so you toasting you Thursday afternoon. Well, I brought, don't really show that because it's, it's cheap. It's okay, cheap. it's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. So, huh. listen, I'm not fancy. Um, <laughs> and I also brought some orange juice options. I didn't know how you felt about, felt about pulp. pulp. Yeah. So, we've got the some pulp and the no pulp for your pulp per reference. I'm really good with any any level of pulp, but let's do some some pulp. Some pulp. So, so we're, know, so we're making mimosas. Yeah, that I mean we can them? drink it straight. So can I, open I figured. Uh, yeah. So here's the here's the exciting thing. Something rotten. Yes. This thing. I was looking over your resume. I've That's been, no, I've embarrassing. Been follow, I've been following your career since. I've you, been following yours since you started. But uh, I was looking at it pretty soon. Something rotten is going to be like your longest running Broadway gig. <laughs> right. I mean, like this is like. You're, you're going on to you're going are into you, a year. Yes. Don't we spill are, the orange juice. No, uh, we, are we gonna do well, this. We did, which direction oh, should I? Here I should. I you am. Do it. I'm you a semi-professional. Um, we, I did Gypsy for a year. Right. Yeah. Um, but that I, was your other. Hold on. Ready and yeah. mazel. Oh no. Oh, nice. sorry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little little it. prosecco pee do on you the need floor. A, do you need a napkin? No. <laughs> um, <so laughs> anyway. You know, you you pour because I I always do the uh, the levels wrong. I would I be way too I boozy. I just figure no, I always figure you go booze and you do orange. and you do a touch of vitamin C. <laughs> just a touch. Um, so what were we saying? Oh, gypsy. I did, a gypsy yeah. ran a year. I did gypsy for a year. Yeah. Um, and you. so yeah, so this will be a year. Oh, the pulp. You want you want? Are you okay with some pulp? Oh yeah, I love All some right. pulp. Now we know that about you. Mm -hmm. She loves the pulp. I actually don't mind is that too much? a lot that? of pulp or a nice, you know, fresh squeezed. Okay. Great, right. thanks. Look at us. We're but so healthy. Some, cheers. cheers. Cheers to your phenomenal success and something thanks. rotten. And to yours in this. 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 Here we are. This is fancy, you guys. Just so y'all totally know. Totally fancy. This is a fancy studio. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Wait, do we do eyes? Delicious. We I, do eyes. No, I'm going to tell you, though, you actually have to drink because most people, I give them like, a mug with with drinks and they don't ever drink during the interview but you just keep well luckily i brought this because you didn't have anything <laughs> so but you also brought some really classy snacks oh okay well that's because i got it at duane reed <laughs> right and you know they had some donuts okay. in the case and i thought about it because there was you know an old-fashioned and chocolate and a, but then i was like what do i i use this wax paper and then i put it in this duane reed bag it's weird yeah, I thought that this yeah. seemed less sketchy. <laughs> or at Thank least God they're this, making these again, right? Yeah, well, and this is for your bunker, you know, because these never go bad. That um, that so, looks a little that looks a little uh, white powdery to me, but I, I'm gonna have a little Twinkie. This is a little white powder. I don't know. You don't want to have the white powder? <laughs> well, you have to be careful not to inhale, because then you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that, though. Oh man, cheers. Cheers. Mm, mm, so good. Delicious. Mm. So good. Oh, we're so healthy. So good. So anyway. It's like so a real something rotten. Show everybody. Yeah, big hit. Finishing oh, up a year. Loving it. Your Portia. Now Your that's Portia a Shakespearean reference, isn't it? I don't know much about Shakespeare. Neither do I. How about who's Portia? Tell me about who. No, tell, you don't know. I don't know. Um, I think but Lily I think Ray, Shylock Lily is Ray Portia's was Portia. Lily, think, wait, I do think. I have powder on my lips? No, you look oh, perfect. <laughs> do I have any uh, Twinkies goo on mine? <laughs> no, but I think that you should really try to get some on there. Um, Portia. Is Shylock's daughter. Mm. Um, yeah. You'd think I should, like, I would care and <laughs> read some Shakespeare, but. But no. No. Uh -uh. It's actually not important to you pulling off your role to, to know anything about. No. No. Really, no. what's important to me pulling off my role is um, paying attention to what John Cariani is doing. Yeah. At all times. Yeah, and being in love. Mm -hmm. Dink, dink, dink. That's easy. Dink, Those guys in that show are so much fun, right? They really are. I mean,. Now, I kind I, of uh, have like a revolving crush on all of them. Okay, a revolving crush. Yeah. So does that, that mean it, it shifts? It shifts. So who are you crushing on right now? Well, it might be Ryan Darcy James, but it might also be because he might be winning an Oscar this weekend. So yeah, it's really about that. So it's really, it's really. <laughs> <laughs> Chew. 
And you share a dressing room, we all know this, from the, the Broadway.com uh, Heidi Blickensaf vlog. You yes, share a dressing room with Heidi. And now, do you always get along with girls? Like, do you always like hit it off with other girls in the cast? You two seem like you're hitting it off, but are, there any ner are you ever nervous? Like, oh my God, I'm gonna be with a crazy B-I-T-C-H for a year. Do you ever, I mean, you can I just say bitch, actually. Do, that, do you have that concern? Um, of course, no. Well, who? I don't think so. I mean, yeah, you yeah usually. girls are tricky, you're right. But I'm luckily kind of a dude. I mean, I'm a dude who really likes pink and Hello Kitty. <laughs> um, and all the Disney princesses, pretty much, <laughs> mainly Cinderella. Um, but, but no, I think Heidi and her, I, we're actually kind of guys. Yeah, And we okay. talk about how her husband and my boyfriend are sometimes girly. And we're like, ugh, they're being such girls. Ugh, such girls. Um, but yeah, I think girls can be tricky, but so can boys. Right, right. And actors are all crazy, right. including me. It sounds like Casey Nicola just assembled a good group of people. He did. Right? I mean... Well, yeah, because he doesn't like mean people. And right. He doesn't want mean people in his show. Right. And especially not a show that's all about having fun. Right, exactly. Because then it's sort of like... So you weren't on Broadway for like a good chunk of time. Like, I remember when I heard you got this, I was like, Kate's back. She's that's fun. That's so nice She's fun. She's going to bring that. Twinkies. <laughs> and booze. Um, yeah, I'm going yeah, to make my ratio go yeah, up. Yeah, you could top mine now. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, okay, well, this is what happened. Oh, great, thank okay, you. Okay, yeah, yours is looking a little more clear. That's better. <laughs> um, what happened was I did Wicked, mm -hmm. and um, while I was doing Wicked, my best friend, Sarah Litzinger, was doing Beauty and the Beast. Yes. I was Glenda, she was Belle, and we... Tasty um, Skank. And Tasty Skank was born, and Tasty Skank is our singing songwriting duo is this because um, you wanted to just bring some like you wanted to bring the word skank into like what, what why skank are you two skanks skank okay is a, honestly this is how the name skank's came a really nasty word i mean skank is like really nasty i feel like there are nastier words we could have gone with okay do you want to should we go through them should we go through the, the list because no, it would no, be tasty good. no um we, no, we were just, like, we wrote a couple songs uh -huh. hanging out with our other friend, Paul Gordon, who's right. a composer, and we might have been under the influence of things like pizza, <laughs> and he was like, you guys should write a song, like, just start making songs up right now, and so then we did, and then we wrote a song about In-N-Out Burger and a song about hydrocodone, okay. which is Vicodin, generic Vicodin, mm -hmm. and then... Um, and then we were like, we wrote two songs. We are a band. And we were in the hot tub at the Oakwood Toluca Lake Apartments okay. with our friend Jackie Pirro. Okay. And she was like, girls, make a name. And we might have been having, I think, Frozen Cosmos. And yes, I understand there is a theme that seems to be going on <laughs> throughout this interview. Um, that good things happen. But you know, just always have Cheers. a designated driver uh -huh. and um, be responsible. <laughs> And try this at home, and then don't leave it. Um, <laughs> so we were in the pool, or the hot tub, and we were like, it needs to be like like sugar and spice, and like naughty and nice, so it needs to have both things, because so it right. needs to be tasty and skanky. Skank. Skanky. Okay. Then we went to the Aspen Comedy Festival. Right. The HBO yeah. Comedy Festival, which is people <laughs> apparently you. like super fancy. Yeah, people like you. It worked. Anything. We won. We won the Breakout Award. Wow. Yeah, we won the Girl Breakout Award, and John Oliver won the Boy Breakout Award. His career is doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Ours, you know, is fine. But then we actually ended up getting a development deal with Sony. Right. And so, but this was, remember, this was like before. Now everybody's like, oh, yeah, like women in comedy. It's, yeah. It's a big thing. Or it, Yeah. But it wasn't yet. Right. So, like, Flight of the Concords was on TV. So right. So they were like, we already have that show. Um, uh, comedy Central said, you're too girl centric we mm. like our mm -hmm. dem our demographic is still right. male right so we developed and then we went womp womp and mm. that was 2009 and then i um got the sherry shepherd yeah yeah you went sherry shepherd sitcom yeah. which was called cleverly sherry, sherry. <laughs> <laughs> i mean where they get that um and i was the pregnant token white girl. Nice. I was knocked up with Malcolm Jamal Warner's baby. Oh wow! And I have to so, go. Can I go watch that? Can I go binge that still? Oh is yeah. Is it available? I think so. Yep. Is it and available? I'm okay. Totally classy <laughs> and totally pregnant. And Jane Curtin plays my mom, which oh, was awesome. another dream. And yeah. then, and it was like this. I have to say, it was like a master class in sitcom every right. single day. And I was like, sitcoms are awesome because they're like a show. They're right. like a mini 
right. play that you make a new one of every week right. and you rehearse it with your friends and you go through it like a play for a live studio audience right. and it's always changing and now people probably come on here and talk about previews and how they hate previews, right? Because okay. everything's changing. Like people sure. find previews very stressful. You love it. I love it. Right. I love, I want you to give me a whole new scene and have the new lines that I have to do in front of people tonight mm. because it's so scary and exciting. So you, so since you so can't, so that's what a sitcom's like. So since you can't do that as something rotten every night, how do you keep, how do you keep it interesting? It's hard. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. It's yeah. totally hard. And actually it, it like hits this place where <laughs> it starts to get scary uh -huh. because you've done it so many times yeah. and you're trying to keep it fresh. But then when you think about it too much, your brain goes, I don't even know what it is. I don't, I don't know the lines. I'm not, I, and then yeah. you're like, calm down, stop being crazy. Right. But it's hard when you're crazy. So you got stuck out in LA, basically, in, huh. the, in the beautiful land of LA. Yeah. So and you I, weren't like looking for your next Broadway gig necessarily. Well, I mean, I would have loved. Yeah, I would have loved to. But yeah. I did sort of. I mean, I loved Sherry so much yeah. that I was like, sitcoms are sort of my dream come true. And if I want to do them, they're in LA. Right. So I went and committed because I didn't want to do it half-assed and then be surprised when nothing happened because you can't be half-assed in this business. So what would you like as a little kid? I want to know about little, little, little girl, little Kate Rinders. I was really annoying. You were a little like singing, dancing, oh, was, acting kid, right? You like you started was, early. No, I was just like I. Uh, I apologize to my parents. Still, I grew up. It, I went to Christian school and church every Sunday. And yeah. It was like when I was three years old or something, and I was also very small for my age. Okay. Like very very small. But I started talking really early. Okay. And in complete sentences, apparently huh. I was like, "Mama, Dada, JJ hit me." My brother, sorry, <laughs> um, just tattling, tattling right away. So like I would sing in church and be loud and obnoxious. And so then my parents were like, oh, she can sing. And then I started playing violin and piano and, uh -huh. and so little and tiny that like I tried to play soccer like my brother, but yeah. it was pathetic and terrible. So wow. my mom was like, we're going to ballet. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, so then I just started doing theater. As community theater? Community theater. Like what? What was your first show? Big my, role? Like, what was your first big breakout moment I missed? <laughs> oh, well, you totally missed it. I can't believe you. No, I, um, actually what happened was I did this, like, day camp thing, um, that was a community theater day okay. camp thing that my mom saw, like, in the paper and was like, uh -huh. oh, there's, like, dancing and mask making and this sounds <laughs> like something you'd like to do over the summer, probably to get me out of her hair. Right. <laughs> and, um, the woman in charge of that huh. was helping them find kids for Gypsy. Gypsy. At the local Summerstock Theater, which was actually Rita Moreno. With Rita this Moreno. one, the Rita Moreno yeah. one. Okay, yes. yeah. And so, um, so then she put me in that, and I was a newsboy, and I like did cartwheels across the stage, and it was really awesome. And then the producer of Cherry County Playhouse, like, I don't know, like got a little shine in his eye for me, mm -hmm. which I didn't realize. And then the next summer he did Annie. And you were Annie. And I was Annie. And Alan wow. Fitzpatrick did you have the big red? Did you have the big wig? The big. Yeah, I mean, you have oh, that's to. that's part of it, yeah. yeah. That's, that's part of it. You come out with the, the did, wig and the dress. Did you nail it? I'm sure I was amazing. Yeah? I don't know. Yeah? Because I was a kid in the age of we didn't have everything documented all the time. So it's I, it's so knows. true, right? But I it's think so that true. maybe that's better because then in my memory, right. <laughs> it, I was amazing. Right. Have you ever had a, a, a run-in with Rita Moreno again? She came to our show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Did you, did, did you say to her, I was your, one of your newsboys? No, I felt like that was weird. Oh, that's not weird. It's amazing. I didn't want it, but I didn't want to be weird. And I was already like, <laughs> you hey. yeah. And I also, who else was I like that for? Um, I really should never talk to anybody backstage. You get a little weird about around stars. Oh, I love them. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. And I also, I don't want to be disappointed. <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. Okay. But I feel like yeah. in LA, what happened a couple times when I was I was doing this yeah. other show and like. You run into people and you're like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like people I had crushes on other right, shows. Right. And then you're like, oh, right. crush is over. Wah, wah, wah. So who's know. the other person that came backstage you got weird about? Well, I wasn't, well, maybe a little bit. Rachel McAdams. Oh, okay. Because I love her. Yeah. I love her. And so, and also Heidi and I were like, we don't want to be photographed next to her. Like we don't, <laughs> like we are in like drag makeup with these like wigs that are beautiful, but still like wigs that are <laughs> Big wigs and like <laughs> muscles, <laughs> like so. So has McConaughey come back yet? I know you're. Are you, every, Do you I think feel I like would even still be alive? 
I feel like every interview you do, attack. every interview I've read of you recently, you talk about Matthew McConaughey, and you, you, you and Sarah wrote a great song we have a great called song Matthew McConaughey video. Day, yep. of mm-hmm. all about how there should be a day for Matthew McConaughey. Yeah. And holiday. I feel like okay. you're just trying to link yourself with him by bringing him up as often. So I figured I would just do it for you Thank this you time. Thank you very much. Can you yeah. hashtag it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever the kids do. But I, no, we love him. Yeah. And we did think that that was going to be great. That we're like, we're making a video. Yeah. Like, he's going to see it, right? Yeah. He hasn't. Well, maybe he has. We don't know. He clearly didn't like it. If he, he was did. in the video, sort of. Well, Be- I yeah, did it's very clever. It's very cute. It's I, I enjoyed it. Cutout. I'm all for Matthew McConaughey Day. And then at some point, somebody said, "You look like Kristen Chenoweth." Oh yeah, like when I was right, like a in school. At, yeah, freshman at Michigan. And you do kind of, but not. But Thank I mean, well, but no, listen. I mean, yes, clearly they mean it as a compliment. But I, that was one of my like my one of my hints that maybe I shouldn't be at college for musical theater because when they said, "Oh my gosh, you're so Kristen Chenoweth," I said, "Who?" <laughs> no clue. Uh, no clue. <laughs> like I need to do some research and be a little educated with my. Field now, did you ever? Choice. And you did end up playing Glenda. You were great as Glenda. Thank you. Did you ever have um? Have you ever met Kristen Chenoweth? Have you ever she ever come up to you and said? I've never met her. Who are you? I've never actually <laughs> seen her. No, but um, you've never met her. I've never. You've met never her. met Kristen. I've never met Kristen. <laughs> I would love to. She's meet right, her. Kristen. Come on in. Come on in, Kristen Chenoweth. Um, <laughs> she's not here. No, but um, yeah, I've never met her. We have a million mutual friends. I feel um, it's crazy. It's yeah, it is crazy. Yeah. And we like I've seen her in passing. Okay. But and that's another like person that I was like, should I just like go up and introduce myself? No, I don't want to be weird. Okay, Reinders. I played Glinda. No, People say I look like I'm you. Okay, Reinders. <laughs> how are you? Oh my gosh. But I could, let's be friends. I don't know if she would go. For, I don't know. Maybe she would like it. Yeah. I don't. I, yeah. She's very lovely. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to we'll have to get you two together at some point. Great. Well, I was thinking like. Can't we make a musical version of like sisters or like you and baby you and mama Kristen. or I don't know? Can I play yeah. your sister in something? Yeah, let's There's do that. Be something where I can play your sister. You should just do something with Chris or sideshow. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Sideshow. <laughs> just give her heels and give me flats because I think there's only like a couple inches difference. <laughs> yeah. So um, remember that uh, Good Vibration show? No. I've seen you in a few. I've I've seen you in a few stinkers. Um, I listen, mean, not that not that there wasn't beautiful things no, about. No, listen. If you don't have the stink, then uh, what's going to rhyme with that? Then there's not going to be the thing you think. <laughs> Wait, is actually, fabulous. you made your Broadway debut in The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, which I saw. It was an enormous musical on a big IKEA set at the Minskoff. The set was kind of. It was fantastic. a huge. It was, like it was that wood huge, color, like, that light wood no, it was color. Made out of wood. Yeah, it, it was. was like it was. An, it was a big IKEA. It was beautiful, and you understudied all the girls, right? But you understudied Kristen Bell, right? Kristen Bell, and what I remember about Kristen Bell's performance is that she—I remember her sobbing. I remember there was a lot of sobbing. Yeah, like Betsy, Be- Becky, Becky, Becky Thatcher, Becky, Becky Thatcher, very famous lady, <laughs> just as famous as Portia. Um, oh, she, no. there was a lot Portia of crying. Show that will re- there was a lot. I remember a lot of crying. Did you get to go on and cry, or it only ran like two weeks? Oh, we ran. No, I never went on. We ran like two minutes. Don't you miss those flops back in the day? That would just like I'm sure you didn't because you needed the paycheck. But back in the day, no, but I, was I feel young like, then. like shows where it came and went so yeah. quick, right? Yeah. And now they don't. Now they stick around. No, or now like people, yeah, or, or they've been open for like a year and people are like I can't believe it's closing and I'm like a year's good, you guys. <laughs> right. That's a success. <laughs> right. And then that good vibrations that the Beach Boys musical. Yeah. Another quickie. Yep. But you know, character building. Personal character building, you mean? Yep. I mean, Makes you that's strong. That which does not kill us. Strong actor lady. Yeah. Do you feel like you you're like you, you know how to like get through anything now, career wise? Is that how you feel? Well, and also just wearing a bikini in front of people. Oh right. Is character yeah. building. Yeah, there are a lot of beach balls or surfboards. I remember that one. Yeah. That one changed a lot, right, during the run. Oh yeah. Didn't it like change like oh, a yeah. lot? You oh, said yeah. you like, had, like. You must have loved it because it was every day they were yeah. like, now you're like, doing this. Yeah, but I was like. Let's keep going. Let's keep fixing it. Um, No, that but that was fun, and we all just—I mean, we had a great time doing it too. It was fun, and I love Beach Boys music. I grew up with it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Um, How's how's your new uh, gentleman friend? You have a gentleman friend, don't you? I do. I have a gentleman friend. We talk about him. Sure. Andrew Samansky. Andrew Samansky. (laughs) I like how you get you immediately get that sing-songy thing in your voice. That's so sweet. Starring in the Bridges of Madison County tour, he is he's Robert so he Kincaid. Is, he is Robert Kincaid, and he is having an the affair Stephen across Pas- America. And so you're welcome. Cheers to that. You're welcome, America. Yeah. You're because, <laughs> because no, but that role great. I saw it happen with Stephen Pasquale. I haven't seen Andrew do the role yet. 
Um, but women, it, it is like a, it's it's, it's not every quite woman's dream come true. It's not quite panties being thrown at him, but but yeah. mentally they are they are throwing their panties at at him. No, I think they are. Have I you and you've seen him in the show? Yes. You got to go see him do it. Yes, I've seen him multiple times. And uh, and, and he's fantastic. Yeah, and and do you he's see the do you, are you seeing the women like swoon? Are you seeing that happen? Oh yeah. I mean, he takes his shirt off and everything. Oh yeah, he hangs out without his shirt on, and um, and there are moves involved. Which I tell him, like, I know that move. I've seen that move. I know that move. <laughs> We're going to have to practice that move later. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, he's, he's fantastic. Like, it really... Well, it's funny. I was looking at the schedule. But, but dating an actor, and you're an actor, and you have, your oh. own, you have your own job going on, and you know that he's doing that job. And I was looking. He's actually, like, in Las Vegas this week. Yeah, so... What... So are you, are you thinking about, like, oh, he's in Las Vegas, and all those, like, Vegas tasty skanks out in the audience are all mentally throwing their panties at him. Do you think, do you start going crazy thinking about all this? Or um, you just go, like, that's my man. Well, listen, yes and yes and yes to all your things. But really, <laughs> <laughs> but really, um, but I've already gone through that. Like, we fast-forwarded through those feelings kind of early on. Okay. Um, because... Yeah, like I would go into the bathroom, like the ladies' room at intermission, and they would all be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, and I'd be like, mm hmm. I know, I know, I know. And part of me was like, who am I punching in the face this intermission? Because I will punch you in the face. Don't try to steal my man. But at the same time, I'm so proud of him. Yeah. And, and also, I mean, yeah, I don't worry about him doing it. So it's like, yeah. it's jealous and like the also like the good fuzzy feeling too because I'm like, he, he I have a secret that they don't know, which right. is that like they think he's so amazing and they want to have sex with him. And <laughs> I get to. And <laughs> he's also like, the, like his person is the sweetest and best and yeah. nerdiest and most wonderful and they have no idea. So like he's even better than they think. Right. But he is mine, and I will kill you. Like maybe Matthew McConaughey is just totally better than what you think too, right? I mean, like. Do you like? The, I, I don't mean, know. Maybe, maybe you just maybe. said Matthew McConaughey, and I was like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, you don't care about McConaughey? No, I love Andrew Smolsky. Good for you. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Look at you growing up. I know. Growing up. It took a long time. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> so okay, so you're 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 what? What do you want to do next? Do you want to stay on Broadway, or do you want to? What do you want to do? I Come don't on. know. I mean. This is the thing. Like, I, I would love to. I would love to stay on Broadway. I tried to, like, I when I was younger too. I used to call it like following my gut, or okay. you know, or listening to God, or the universe. You don't really have a gut, want. but you follow. Good it. answer. <laughs> no delay on that one. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. You're getting better. Um, but I feel like that's what I was doing. So I felt like I came to New York, Broadway. And then when we started doing Tasty Skank, it felt like. The universe was saying, like, award, development deal, do yeah, this. Yeah. And then TV was sort of, so, like, I was just trying to follow where the doors were opening. But I definitely feel like, you know, Broadway has always been, that was my childhood dream. Mm -hmm. It's my first love. I mm -hmm. love it the most. Um, but it's it's hard, too, to, like, recognize who you are and where you fit. And I'm starting to grow up in that way, too, mm, where, okay. like, in my mind, I'm like, I want to play this part and this part and this part. And then my friends are like... <laughs> like that's not your part. Like that is somebody else's part. Like that's not you. Wow. So I don't. So I'm still trying to figure out like where I would fit my dream that I made up in my mind right mm -hmm. now, which is not real, and nobody steal it. Okay. So maybe I shouldn't say it out loud. It's on camera, so no one can. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, nobody steal it. <laughs> um, there's something about Mary the Musical starring me. Oh. What do you think? Well, I just got some nods from my crew. What so do you think, you yeah, guys? people are into that. People yeah, are into right. That. Wouldn't that be great? Okay. And just like hair gel number <laughs> and, you know, like who's the body in the car, the, the, yeah, uh -huh, the hitchhiker yeah. number yeah. and the, the, the zipper opening, the big I, opening. I think you've gotten addicted to the laughs that you're getting at something around. And you want like comedy is like so, so much fun for you, right? Oh, I love comedy. It's yeah. I mean, you're not doing like a high drama. Well, I would also like to do high, you wanna high do a, drama. You want to do like a... I'm, <laughs> I'm highly dramatic, if you haven't noticed. Um, <laughs> no, but the problem is, with that is that, okay, so like I love Law & Order, right? Okay. I love dramas. Yeah. But I once auditioned for Law & Order and I was like, oh my gosh, oh my God, I can't even believe it. This is like a new lawyer part. Like it was a part. Oh, it was wow. great. Yeah. I was so excited. I lawyer went in lady. And I was like, I know how this goes. It was like, where were you on Friday night? Who can corroborate that? Like I know how they say it. I know it all. And then my agent called me and was like, 
the casting director said you did a great job and you totally like, get the world, but you will never be a lawyer on Law and Order because you are too blonde and your voice is too high. Aww. And I was like, she's right. Oh, right. that's terrible. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta know. You gotta know who you are. You gotta what know you got. who you are. That's the lesson you're giving out to the kids. Know who you are. Yeah, and embrace it. Embrace who you are. Because you know you can't fight it. Yeah, yeah, totally. Well, I adore you. I and adore I'm, you. And it's been so much fun that you've been on Broadway for the last year. Thank you. I mean, because we missed it's you. It's been so nice to be back. We missed you. Well, I have loved being back, and I don't need to go anywhere. Okay. And actually, you guys were neighbors. We are neighbors, so. But we can't tell you where we live because then your stalkers would all come stalk <laughs> I haven't us. actually seen you there yet, so I don't I know, know that you live there, yeah, but, but. I'm gonna. Okay. I am gonna be your stalker. Okay. Uh, your in building stalker. Just, it's just a lazy just stalker. Show up, is just what show it up is. with some um, supplies. Like, I know he lives downstairs. As long as you bring stuff like this, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be great Keep neighbors. Keep it in my purse. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks Everybody for Everybody needs to see, if you haven't already, I feel like I tell people all the time on here, see something rotten. I know, you are our biggest fan, I'm like, and we I really am, appreciate it. I'm pretty sure I am the biggest fan of something <laughs> rotten. Uh, but it's so good. It's at the St. James Theater. It's a big Broadway blockbuster. I'm going to come see it again. Lots of tap dancing, lots of singing, lots of cod pieces. Yeah. Lots of, like, big hair. You won't even recognize me under all my hair. <laughs> Because this is just what like more do you little need? like doll hair feathers. <laughs> thank you for the booze and thank Welcome. you for being here. Thank you so much, Kate. Yes. Love you thank you for time. watching. We'll see you next time.